All right, we're beginning to navigate our way out of safer at home. At least we're hoping for that, looking forward to it, and checking in with lots of entrepreneurs and organizations throughout South Central Wisconsin. Right now, we're going to hear from Audio for the Arts. We've got Buzz Kemper and Audrey Martinovich on the line with us, and it is always nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Jessa, it's great to be almost with you. <laughs> Thanks for having us long distance. Yes, I know. I'm hoping this next time we get to see each other in person. We've been doing this now for a couple months via video conference. But hey, you guys have stayed busy. Lots happening. Things have obviously changed for you. But you're working on a really interesting social distancing project for the Wisconsin Youth Symphony. Tell us about that. Well, yeah, Kyle Knox, who is the artistic director for the Wisconsin Youth Symphony Orchestra, approached us a couple months back, and he had this idea of having the kids play part of a Rossini piece and uh, in their homes, videotape themselves, send them to us, and then we would sync them up. And we're starting to get these videos back now. And so in about two or three days, we'll either be going yay this is working or we'll be you know we'll be um you know uh, in the on the floor whimpering in the fetal position but we're strategizing audrey, how, do you, how do you think it's going audrey <laughs> i think it's going great i mean we tried to lay out a lot of uh, good guidelines for the kids so i'm excited to start looking through their video submissions and make a virtual orchestra oh my gosh i cannot wait to hear that and that should be a fun project assuming it all goes well <laughs> as you're finding gonna find out soon i think your work is just incredibly fascinating and you come across some of the most amazing projects and andre you've been working on some scary films so give us an update on what you're doing now yeah so uh last year or Two years ago, I guess now, I did a horror film for Three Tortured Minds called The Nursery, and they have another project that we're diving into. So um, I've been lining up dialogue, cleaning up on-set stuff, and I've got a plan for a lot of really fun fully and off-site recordings that I'm going to be doing to just capture um, some spooky sounding ambiences and, and things like that. So it's, it's fun for me to kind of put that together and work into an, an even more uh, alternate reality than the one we're currently living in. Awesome. Here's that my audition, by the way. Boah, ha, 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 ha. There. <laughs> You're hired. Oh, good. Yay. <laughs> that was easy. That was good. That was good. Yes, I love it. Okay. That's so fun. I love hearing about, about the big work that you guys are doing. And another thing that you are working on, this is how diverse you are, is you are also doing a recording for books. And of course, one of the essential media services. So you've been able to provide that for folks, even as a lot of businesses have been closed, but you're not just recording it, Buzz, you are the narrator. Yes, this will be my third audiobook narration. And uh, yeah, it's an author named Joe Readerer, and he wrote this, uh, this really great story called Restoration in the Barrens. And it's just about a young man, uh, uh, I think he's 13, a young boy who is uh, really interested in prairies and the, the flora and fauna, and he has a bunch of different uh, adventures. And I'm really having fun reading the book. And actually, uh, Audrey and my colleague Noah is out uh, out in the lobby right now with headphones on, editing out all my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I bet that's an easy job. There's probably very few. Uh, I made one or two. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I bet that'll be a great read and a great listen, rather. Uh, here's another project that you do, and I can't wait to share this with our viewers. Audrey, you work on something called Girls Rock Camp. Is that happening? Is it able to happen this year? Are you able to do that? So sort of. So basically this camp is a week long uh, excursion for girls. So there are three different levels. So if you're, um, you know, you've got a daughter who's like eight or nine, just kind of starting to become introduced to an instrument. Uh, levels one or two or sessions one and two are really good for her, getting her just kind of started with chords. Um, and then the session three campers are a little bit more experienced. They've been through it a couple of times. and. We work over the course of the week to help these kids learn their song or write a song, an original song, learn their instruments, and then usually they get to perform together at High Noon Saloon at the very end. Um, however, this is going to be an all virtual format this year. So like our project with WISO, where we're going to be syncing up some videos of kids performing instead of their showcase uh, that would normally be at High Noon, we're going to do the same kind of thing and make a composite video of their uh, original songs. It's going to be uh, fun. So on, much on day fun. one, I'd yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Less than one. Yes, yeah, rock, rock out. out. I love it. You guys are always so much fun to talk to. I love hearing what you have going on. Thanks so much for joining me. Thank you, Jessa. Thank you. We've got more Talk Wisconsin coming up after the break, so please stick with us.